Hey, how are you guys doing tonight? Me, I just got off of work here. Just getting ready to uh, get a little bit of sleep eventually. Don't have to go into work until tomorrow night, so I get to have plenty of sleep. But I wanted to show you guys something. Now, for those of you who uh, would write to me whenever I was in jail, and I wrote back, I want to show you these are the pencils that they would give us to write with. These golf pencils. They are a pain in the butt to write with. Do not like them at all. So a lot of times what uh, we would do is we would make our own pencils. And I mean longer pencils that were just easier to deal with. Uh, some of the officers there would confiscate them. Some of us would let them have them because they can be used as a weapon. But uh, I've only had mine confiscated like a couple of times, you know, just to make them real easy. But I'm going to show you how we make somewhat more real pencils so we can write. We can, you know, people draw in there and stuff like that and make all, all sorts of stuff. People are creative. But I used to make these pencils myself, and a lot of people actually, for some reason, didn't care to learn or were too lazy, and they would ask me if I would make them. They'd even pay me a little bit, like an item, a 75 cent item from the store, you know, like a bag of chips or something like that. But one of the things we do first, whenever we make our, our real pencils, let them soak in water. You know, for about, this one's been soaking in water for about nine hours. You know, I would let mine soak for nine, twelve hours, let it soak all night while we slept to get up in the morning and do it. Because when it would soak, then it would separate. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. You can see the crack that's forming right there. Because we're going to have to bite that open so we can get the lead out. So let me just do this real quick. Yeah, I still got prison teeth or jail teeth. See, then we have the lead and then we're going to have to take that out. See if I remember how to do this. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can take this out without breaking it. And I broke it. <laughs> Here we go. Longer piece of lead. This is long enough. It broke, but we can even use this little piece to make another pencil. Because actually this piece of lead can make about three pencils if you wanted. And here's what we do when we do our pencils here. First we get a piece of paper. Now a lot of people like to use a whole piece of paper and I don't like it. It's just a little bit bigger round and easier to hold but I never found it necessary. So I would tear my piece of paper in half. Wet down the crease so I can rip it open. Because we're gonna wrap, we're gonna wrap this piece of lead in this paper just like this. I hope I can do this. It's been about four months since I've done one. It's probably not gonna be perfect, but you'll get the main idea. We need some glue. This is the state toothpaste that we can that we get. Uh, officers walk around. We can ask them for it when we run out. This is what we use to brush our teeth. It's straight fluoride. Now. I need a flat surface and I need a sticky surface. Most of the tables, stuff's still good, most of the tables were pretty slick. So I would just take a bunch of this and just rub it on the table here, just like so. Mm -hmm. uh, whole bedroom's gonna smell like toothpaste now. Yummy, yummy. And then, let's see what I need. I guess I'll use this piece here. No, 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 I'll do that. Then what we do is we just take this piece of lead and we just wrap it as tight as possible. And it's going to be a little while, but uh, I will get it. Because it's going to be... See, because what I normally do first is I don't even put the lead in there. I just wrap this up as tight as I can. Just like so. Mm -hmm. 
then roll it just like this, adding some pressure, of course. Thank God the table's sticky. And you quick jerk movements like that because then it'll really get, get going in there. Sometimes I gotta stand up when I do this because sometimes you really gotta add pressure just to get this in there. And then when it gets small enough, I will stick the lead in there, just like so. Ah, that's good enough. And then I'll do this. Just tighten it up as far as possible, as much as possible. And then when it looks like it's good and tight, I think the lead broke, so I'm just going to push it down there even more. It's been a while since I've done this, man. The lead broke again. It's been a while, holy cow. There we go. I'm just going to use that piece right there. That piece that's in there. And what I'm going to do is stand up. And you just tighten this up as much as you can. And my and your speaker falls. Until the lead is tight. And then when the lead is tight, I'm too lazy to uh, give the thing really good because that's just the way it is. And then what I do, you need something to hold the pencil together. So I just take a dab and I put it on the edge of this paper here. Need a little bit more. Yeah, just put it on the edge of the paper and just do this. And there you go. Got a pencil that you can write with. And of course, using the pencil. I write in printing, I don't write in cursive. So, hi. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be backwards or not, but that's how we make the pencils. And of course, we also see how the edge is, it's still flat, it's not rounded. Uh, I should have brought one of these home with me, but I didn't. We have little, in the stores, we can buy these little fingernail files. These uh, it's the ones that you can buy in the store that are disposable. And what, the, what we get is we get these little cups that are about this big, about this big around. And the people that take medication in the morning and evening, they give you the cup of water and you take your medication and you keep the cup. Well, those cups are really thin plastic. And what we do is I'll take uh, one of these pencils here, poke a hole in one end, poke a hole in the other, stick the little uh, filing thing through, hold it like this, and it becomes a pencil sharpener. That way you can have a nice sharp point as you're writing. But, uh, yeah, for all those who wrote to me and I wrote back, this is what I used right here. So, voila. Some of these people can create some of the most awesomest things out of your everyday common items. It's amazing. So, just thought I'd show you that. I will catch you guys later. Bye.